So here we are. It's Latvia versus Malta in the second Group A game of the Crap Euros 2020. Just setting our oh NASCAR Heat has installed. Just setting our lineups. Left mid for Latvia. We'll put Siganix there. Oh, we'll, 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 well you probably fancy Latvia for this tie, wouldn't you? And their beautiful added ask it there. I mean, looking at the, the numbers, the player ratings there, that are very realistic, it is hard to call. Both very similar. Let's have a look at the strips we can play with. Yeah, home and away. Home and away. What um, stadium are we playing at today, James? We're playing at the Estadio del Martin Gal in Tiraspol. We're live in Tiraspol for this one. Martin Gal, it's night time. Our night time fixture after the 2 0 win for Mulder over in that opening fixture. It was a, it was closer than it seemed, but uh, I think Mulder overtook their chances. So we'll look at the lineups here. Vanin starting in net and Bonello starting in net for Malta. Duber the captain for Latvia and Fenech the captain for Malta. Up front we've got Uldrichis and Mifsud. I didn't get um, to read the rest of them. Also playing for Latvia is former Reading man Dennis Rackles. Any big names in this game, James? That some we've weird got Michael people. Mithsud, who's a veteran who used to play for Coventry City, scored against Manchester in the League Cup some 15 years ago or somewhat. Amazing. So here we are in the country that does not exist, in Tiraspol. In the open top stadium, in a beautiful kind of... Transinistra, the country that evening. does not exist, if you would have let me finish Sorry, my yes. opening statement there. Here we are with Latvia in the... Burgundy, would you describe it as? Maroon? Yes. Maroon, burgundy. Well, it's not quite... It's a bit darker than a claret, isn't it? Yeah, it's much darker than a claret, yeah. just struck in the face there with the football. Uh, he, he will have a, a runny nose after that one. Cut out nicely there by Maximenko. Lysans. Spreading the play. Just trying to invite him over, I think, to beat him. I think, him. yeah, but couldn't beat him in the end. He's trying to show off like a like a Neymar character, but looked more like a silly goose. Yes. So, Malta getting some football now, passing it around the back line. Caruana to Borg. Borg. Fenech. Malta, of course, were in the Crap World Cup. Yes, I, rec I recognise some of these names. Didn't get out of the group, though, unfortunately. I seem to remember this got a cracking goal in... The group stages of that tournament. They might have been Caruana who scored that grand goal, wasn't it? Could the well have been Caruana. Uh, I seem to remember that being the name, Borg. Well. Good stand of possession here for Malta. Nice ball there. Not fast enough though from the winger Corbel Corbelan. But uh he hasn't given up on it. And that's a dangerous oh. ball across the box. You're not supposed to do that. Oh. Well they survived the Mol the Latvians there. Open well played, uh, and their Baltic counterparts in this group. Izajev did well to let the ball run across his body there, making space in the midfield. Maybe he's again Izajev's. Saganix, he likes to take players on, and he has again. Beats his man this time. Will he whip one in? Not the best ball. Old by Benello. Very Italian sounding, must be one of his well, in relatives are Italian. Close to Italy, isn't it? Malta. It is, yeah. Very close to Sicily. Mifsud. Oh, I recognise Mifsud. That's a name I have heard. Muscat. Also heard of him. So he's Raquel's for Latvia. Latvia, of course, hosting the World Cup. Along with Estonia yes, in are. the next World Cup. 2022. So they'll be hoping to get on a good run here and build up Win some... Win this tournament, yeah. Build some momentum. And Ilkan Hours with a good effort there. From the goalkeeper. Comfortable for him, I would say. It's been a sketchy start so far. That's the first Major shot, I think. Course. 
their language is the closest to Arabic of any language in Europe. What's that? Give over. Give over is the kit sponsor. I'm not sure. Give over. That's what my grandparents would say if I was doing misbehaving. Maximenko to Raquel's. Let's the ball run across his body nicely there. Gets a shot away. Another Great good save. save again. Palmed it away, but hello. Worked a nice opening, did Raquel's there. That'd be a beginning to pile on the pressure. Yes, they are. The majority of this Maltese team play in Malta. But you would not expect them to be up to a high standard. Corners Connor. have been dangerous in this tournament. Oh! Very dangerous! Yeah, well. Oh. Well, he needs to get his away. He, Borg he done well. Yes, very well there by Borg. Here's Muscat. Muscat. Corbalan. Corbalan's dispossessed, but then it's won back by Muscat. Corbalan again. Dispossessed again. Wow, well, oh. what was that? What on earth is it's that? like a rugby tackle. Oh, they've given it away costly. <laughs> Getting it caught up between his feet there. Oh, here it is now. Surely they will get oh, the shot away. Oh, man. Just no space there. Malta holding a good back line. And on a counter attack here, although. Desperate back line. That Corbalan who keeps giving the ball away. It is Corbalan, he just keeps giving that football away. Every time they try and build an attack. Lovely cross field ball. Coaching. Well, we are in the last 10 minutes of this half. Very scrappy again. It is the crap Euros, we must remember this. I think the standard of football is very good. Well, the Europeans famously have never really done that well in the crap world, have they? Um, I think Lithuania were the last side who got the Azerbaijan, first. Azerbaijan, do they, do they count? Well, yes, yes, I suppose they've won it. They've won it and, uh... It's slightly European, isn't it, Azerbaijan? I think they think of themselves more European than They're in do. this tournament, so they are. Oh! They're not a true European side. Not like these two sides. I wonder if um very much in the heart of Europe. Well Latvia isn't multi sort of is. Quite a bit of football here. Oh, dispossessed at the very last. And that's nil, a nil-nil nil at half-time. What do we well, think, James? A, I think it was a very scrappy first half, and the viewers have not been treated to uh, too much great football in this tournament so far. Malta struggling to uh, make anything of the ball with only 39% possession and zero shots. Well, they've not even hardly gone out of their, their half read. I mean, Corbalan keeps giving the football away. I think it's only a matter of time before Latvia take the lead in this one. But... Well, we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll find out, won't we? Wow. Malta's attack has been 100% on the right wing. Yes, yes. It's so very, very heavy for Corbalan. But, might uh, need to uh, change that strategy up. To somewhere else, they... They might get a bit of joy somewhere else. Uh, I think you've got a fancy lap for you to win this group, though, haven't you? Looking at it. If they were to but get you, everything moving, the pieces all together. That's up there with, 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 with a potential, yep. Yeah. It's either them. Well, looking at that, Moldova had a chance. Definitely music there. <laughs> that's the Molten National Anthem. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. The uh, 66% Italian language, which explains a lot of Italian names. Yes, it's uh, what is an island that sits in the Mediterranean. Just Both countries have very similar populations. 
about 500,000. Oh, I thought uh, Latvia had a lot more people than that, but there you go. Maybe they do, maybe I've read um, just Riga's population there without concentrating. Good ball there. Mm, Woko. Ball of pace. Cuts inside, gets the ball in. That header is too weak. That, yeah. Easy for Vanis, the captain, the 40 year old. Oh. Veteran of. Mifsud, yes, he Muscat. Played, in Euro 2000, played in Euro 2040, Vanis. Of course, Latvia being the side who last qualified for the Euro out of all these teams, I believe. All of these sides have never actually qualified for the Euros. Oh, that oh, ball was a that, waste. That needed to be a goal. That needed to be an opener for Latvia. This could be... Oh, oh. very good Curled effort there. Away. I don't know why the goalkeeper's furious. It went wide. <laughs> I think he's fuming at his defence for letting the, yes. the shot get... Well, they let him twist and turn. I think it was always rising and going wide, that one. Yep, not the best effort ever. Ah, yes, Latvia has two million inhabitants. I thought it was around two million when I was thinking to myself. I thought that should sit around that kind of region. But they are fans of ice hockey rather than the old football. That might have something to do with their performance. Well, old Barbadello. Captain now. Oh, oh, crunching effort there. That, 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 that. Oh, that's a lovely little ball inside. Corbelan to Muscat. And Muscat Ooh, getting absolutely Vanis flattened. Was forced into a stop there. One of the few chances Muller have had. Well, he was actually snapped after he took the effort there, wasn't he? Yep. Wouldn't he be surprised to well. see the referee reach into his pocket. Save it. Quite a nice goalkeeper kit. It is. With a generic Adidas kit. Yeah, it's the referee has for... reached into his pocket. Is the Jeffs. Is that fair? Whoa, that was almost a leg breaker. It's quite nice to play under the floodlights, actually. When was the last time a, a crap tournament was played under the floodlights? It's not that often. I don't think it's ever happened. Probably not, actually, when you think about it. It's quite nice. Oh, here's Muscat. A good foot oh. in there by R Rack Rack something. Racky Ells. Rackles, yes. Oh, and what a ball that is to Eken Yex. He has a shot. Good oh, save by the goalie. Play. Played very well, Vanello, in this tie. Saganix wins it back on the left wing. That's a battle. That's a real battle on that wing. Twisting and turning and making him a fool. Oh, that was a good ball in. Oh, it's begging to be oh, hit. Oh, it was begging to be hit. And he hit it. Oh, he's offside. He's offside, yes. Latvia just can't get the ball in the net here. No. How long is left? Just the 20 minutes or so. Who do you think Not would come out, leave happier with a nil-nil? Bolter, of course. Well, is it going to be nil-nil? Oh, yes, what yes. A miss. What a terrible, terrible miss. What a miss! My word, how on earth did you miss that? Great ball, oh, loads of space. He was given the freedom of tourist ball. And, well, <laughs> my was word, shocking. I can't even put a... That was the chance. That was the chance for Malda. What a horrendous miss from Mifsund. And and that really will suck the life, the confidence out of the whole team. Well, you would have been imagining that uh, now Latvia will go on and... Really go for it, I think. Yes, they've been let off the hook there majorly. Rackles, formerly of Reading, as we said, is dispossessed. Maybe there's a bit of confidence in this multi side still. They're not, they're not oh, taking it lying down. Oh, another ball in right to the middle. It's a goal! It's the goal, and he avenges that. 
Well, Mix. there's the shock scoreline. Just moments ago, Malta take the lead in this fixture. And Latvia, well, well they won't be happy with that at all. Then look at them. Distraught. Two fantastic opportunities, and he finally takes on the former Coventry City man. Way down the wing. I don't He's think proved the crowd... to be an Afez in, in Kono. Look at all that space in the middle. Freedom again of Chivers ball. And he finishes it off. You have to question what the centre backs were doing there. They are all at sea. What a friendly gesture. Well, more lead with around 15 minutes left. And a throw oh, into Malta. Oh. Latvia are a bit shaky. Well, that was a total mishap of communication. Got in there, got in there well. Oh, they could have been away again there. Maltese. This is Jeff, the man. Currently on a yellow card. Hmm. Pardon me. Here's Rackles in the middle. Try to simply roll it through. No one on, on the Latvia side has any pace. I don't know if they're absolutely knackered or just slow. Oh! Ooh. Good effort there. Decent chance for Achilles. I mean, he's he's trying to make it happen himself here, Rackles. He is. Shot just wide. Just wide. I think the, the goalkeeper had, had it covered. covered. Yeah. And he did. Corona. Bad choice of pass there from Siganix. Savaniex. In Kono. What oh, a terrible, miss. terrible miss. Oh my word. They might be punished for that one. But he was through on goal with a genuine chance. Them legs too tired by the end of the run. I think he, well, I don't know. And just he swung saw the glory. The chance to wrap it up for... Uh, and he didn't see the goal, did he? Because he missed it. Maltese. And... He's dispossessed. What the... What the good Christ is he's happening? Dispossessed. And they're dispossessed. Everyone's dispossessed. As quickly as they gained it. <gasps> what a block that was. Malta resolute defending. Trying to hold on with the football now. Can't get away. And that's got to be it. There's not much time left now for the Three Latvians. Moving yes. away and Malta have won this fixture. One golden ale. Bit of a shock that one. It Absolutely. Look at this. I can't wait to see the uh, see. official stat sheet. Penelo with a good save there. I think it will tell a different story to the scoreline. Well, they only just started getting their chances in the final 50, 20 minutes or so, wasn't it, for Malta? They Tr faced that is, a barrage that is of true. chances. I mean, look at all these in the first half. A barrage of chances for Latvia. Even into the second half, they had a lot of chances. Issa Jeffs there. Issa Jeffs, well, we could see the Latvians go home early this tournament. Well, I was saying at half time, if fancy win the group, but they'll have to really improve in those final two group games because they've lost the easy tie, you would say, out of the, out of the three that they're going to play. Malta were fancy to be the whipping boys in this group. Well, they aren't top yet because of goal difference, but they are, they are up there. 
Here's the chance, the first one that we thought, well, that was the opportunity. Then, minutes later, it was a goal. And notice how, you know, they started going down the left-hand side in the second half and they had a bit more joy. Yes, it was certainly. That's tactical masterclass for you there. Well, that was the number three there going out to Nkwono. Then Rattles opportunity, putting it wide, dragging it wide, and then another opportunity. It should have been 2 0, really, shouldn't it? I mean, for the chance. That was it, terrible. I think, you know, 3 0 Malta or, you know, 3 2 friggin' Latvia would have been fair enough. Yeah. There's the, the stat line. 52-48, so Malta got a lot more position in that second half. Player of the match was Mifsud, the goal scorer. Yes, Mifsud, with only a seven po seven rating. So. The same as the centre-back for Latvia, who also, Maximenko, got 7.0. Maximenko, yes. Proved to be pretty decent. Well... What a thrilling start to the tournament. We've had two interesting results. The hosts getting off to a great start um, earlier with a win over Estonia. And a bit of a shock here in Tiraspol as Malta beat Latvia. Tomorrow, so... we kick off with Group B. Two big fixtures, Montenegro Azerbaijan and Lithuania versus Gibraltar. Wow, fascinating. Very interesting. Those are huge ties, James.